Welcome to the Nature Photo Guys podcast, where we talk about nature photography from gear to our philosophies and everything in between. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax. You're listening to Joe DeJardin and Chris Gibbs, the Nature Photo Guys. Hey, Chris. So uh, how was your holidays? It was pretty good, Joe. We, uh, it was quiet. I mean, obviously with this year, everything uh, it's a little quieter than normal. Just the four of us at home. Uh, can't see yeah. the parents and the family, extended family. But uh, hey, they're all safe. Uh, and, and yourself, did you get over uh, to family? I did. I did, yeah. I good. got to uh, visit um, my brother and um, had dinner there and uh, got to visit with my kiddo. And uh, yeah, so it's Perfect. been pretty good. Good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, um, it's a str- been a strange year, right? So it's nice to actually uh, still see some family at Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. No, I hear you there. So, yeah. Well, now that the uh, holidays are over, you know, um, I know uh, we're going to be getting out a lot more this year. Uh, yes, for, for sure. Our, our YouTube uh, channel. And of course, you know, it plays over into our, our, our podcast for sure. Mm hmm. Um, but, uh, I think the feedback we've been getting with uh, the YouTube channel has been pretty amazing. So I think we're going to continue doing that. It has, it seemed to grow a lot faster than the podcast actually has grown. So we're getting a lot of viewers seeing our content over there. So, so I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I mean, they're so fun to do, right? Um, you get out there, you do your thing. Um, you know, stuff happens. It's usually pretty We look like idiots at times and and it's fun, right? (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many people have said they like lavender more than they do vanilla. <laughs> so, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> with the candle stuff. That so, is awesome. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is so good. That, that was pretty good. So I'm glad to see some people are watching anyways, you know, and, and um, uh, you know, uh, interacting and stuff, right? Yeah. And it, they'd have right? to actually be watching those episodes to know what the lavender <laughs> comment that, meant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, oh, that's great. That's great. And uh, that's in episode 14, 14. Yeah. So if yep, you guys 14. want to check that out. So, um, but yeah, I think uh, what we're going to do first is uh, why don't we do a little bit of a recap okay. uh, for those that might just be joining and stuff. And uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek here and pretty much let everybody know Um so we're, we're at 14 episodes. And, uh, of course, you know, we got the, uh, the Nature Photo Guys trailer, right? Um, that's on our podcast. Mm-hmm. That started back in May, May 27th. That was our first. Isn't uh, that hard to believe? That was our trailer. And uh, June 14th was our first episode. Welcome uh, to the Nature Photo Guys podcast. And so it begins. So, yeah, we've only been doing this for six months. I didn't realize that. It's funny when you and I first started talking about doing this, you know, it was, yeah, let's start a podcast. Let's have some fun or whatever. And man, this thing has just taken off from, from then to now. And and that's, and that's the thing, right? Like we both said the minute it stops being fun. Yeah. We're done. Right. You know, like it has to be fun and it's just, it's just gotten, um, you know, um, a lot funner, if that's a word. Yes, it's definitely been more fun as we go. More fun, okay. So Chris will uh, correct my grammar as we go along. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm the wrong one to be correcting grammar. <laughs> that's why you subscribe to Grammarly. Have yes, that's true. Grammarly is it Grammarly? It is Grammarly. Yep. Grammarly. Yep, that's it. So. Um, yes, us technical people are not always good writers. <laughs> good. <laughs> Me no good either. Me no uh, good. <laughs> all right. So, um, you know, uh, episode two was um, what's in the bag, right? That was a cool little episode. Yeah. We talked uh, about our camera and, gear. Yeah. You know, yep. kind of basically, you know, what we carry every day, right? Mm-hmm. You know, um, our favorite accessories was episode three, right? And that's, you know, kind of those things that aren't in the camera bag but you know you kind of carry with you all the time too you know maybe yeah. in your your jacket pocket or some nice to have right like uh some, yeah some nice to have stuff yeah exactly and that episode was really popular because they kind of everybody kind of wants to know what other things aside from camera gear we would end up thinking are accessories that we would like to yeah. carry right yeah and some people have said um they've actually said oh i went out and bought a leatherman tool yeah you know and stuff hey, like I that did. Yeah. I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah exactly. you've been talking so, about it for so many years. I just, I did get one. So yeah. yeah. So no, that was that was a great episode. Yeah. You know, a lot of people uh, enjoyed that one. Mm-hmm. Um, episode four. You know, uh, looking to get off auto. 
right? Mm-hmm. You know, learning about, you know, the uh, especially aperture priority, right? You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what are the best then, yeah. steps, next steps, eh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And like with episode five, it was uh, shutter priority, right? Mm. So, yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I thought that was pretty good to, to help everybody kind of um, get off just the, the auto or the program modes and get into the semi-manual modes, right? You know, so. Yeah, and specific to nature and wildlife and that kind of thing, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we uh, talked about the exposure triangle, mm-hmm. um, which was episode six, uh, which ties, you know, everything together, right? Like aperture um shutter and um iso, ISO right? yeah, that's right just, just to get you that i hope you bang that uh exposure uh a good exposure out right so, yeah it's a good background to understanding to have for sure right because they everything works in tandem those three right so it's uh it's good to have that good understanding for sure yeah you betcha episode seven manual mode and auto iso mm-hmm. the way i pretty much shoot 100 percent now so yeah i've been doing a lot more as well you know, it's, yeah, it's. I, I was mostly an aperture priority kind of thing, but I've been using mm-hmm. manual and ISO a lot. And the Fuji cameras are a little different, but uh, same. Con- the concept still applies. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Um, uh, episode eight: uh, bad exposures and uh, the use of exposure competition. Mm-hmm. You know, um, especially this time of year. Now, I was going to say that too. Snow. Yeah, with all the snow. Yeah, with all yeah. this snow, uh, it's going to be pretty important to uh, to keep that in mind, right? Yes. So yeah, that's right. Um, so if you guys want to learn a little bit about exposure comp and when to use it, uh, check out episode eight. Um, episode nine was a recap of one to eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll jump over right into ten, which is the polarizing filter. Uh, one of the you know the most important filter I think uh, for yeah. landscape uh, photography. Or nature photography, yeah, or nature yeah. photography in general, right? You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that was a good popular so. episode because uh, people really understand, uh, you know, want to understand it's a, one of our main filters. So, get an mm-hmm. understanding of how we used it. And I think we had some good examples that we provided in that episode as well. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is uh, you know, a lot of people try to rely on Photoshop to fix things, mm. and the polarizing filter is actually one thing you cannot replicate using Photoshop. That's right. Yeah. So you have to get it. You have to use it in the field, right? So yeah. And if you're unsure what we're talking about, go check that episode out. You'll you'll see yeah, for sure. Yeah, episode ten. Yeah. You bet. Uh, creative uses of the neutral density filter in episode eleven. Mm-hmm. Right. The slow exposure. Um, you know, again, waterfalls, water, sky. Yeah. You know, clouds. Some creative sort of techniques, that kind of thing. That's right. Yeah. And then on top of that, uh, we expanded a little bit on episode twelve with the uh, the neutral density grad uh, grad filters, right? The grad grads, yeah. Filters. That's right. We did. So. Um, uh, again, you know, to help balance exposure, right? Foreground the, to the um, to the sky is basically where you'd use that yeah. mostly, right? So yeah, for sure, ninety five percent of the time, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, our first real YouTube episode, yes, which was episode thirteen, Moose Mayhem, right? Yeah. There it is, guys. Look at that nice paddles. That was a blast. That was a lot of fun to do. That was the most uh, fun I had in a long time. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, yeah. it's just, it was like, uh, you know, to, to track a moose, to photograph a moose, to, you know, record some video. Um, it was, a, it was a, big, uh, a big plus for you being your first um, uh, bull moose so close, right? So close, wild, yeah, right? absolutely. And being able to photograph it that close enough to get some half decent images too, right? That's so right. That was That's pretty right. cool. So it was quite an experience. The whole that was whole a lot day. of fun. Yeah, uh, I can't wait to do a lot more of those in in, uh, yes. in the future. There, so yeah, I agree. And that was the most popular episode so far. Oh, it has been, eh? Oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Everybody liked us uh, snowshoeing as well, and then uh, mm. finding that moose, right? So. That was a first for you too, snowshoeing. It was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was a first, yeah. So a couple of firsts there. Yeah, that was a good day. And Oh, and um, for those of you that have uh, watched episode 13 and um, aren't sure, uh, there is a right and there is a left snowshoe. I yeah, just that's right. I'd... That's right, yes. Because <laughs> we did talk about that and... I was trying to, you know, give you a hard time about it and everything, but if you actually look under the bindings, you'll see an R and an L for. Yes, you know, yes, that's see right. What, what to put them on, but. Um, uh, otherwise, you don't want to walk like this, right, Joe? That's like right. You, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So you guys have to watch that episode to understand, to understand. what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and then our last one, you know, episode fourteen, where we just talked briefly about tripod heads. Um, yeah. The, yeah. The, the three we use, right? Like the gear head, the ball head, and the gimbal. We didn't get into, you know, specific brands and, you know, no. like 
Manfrotto, over Agritech, over Benro, over, you know, whatever. We just wanted to give you guys a general idea of, of ball heads we used, right? That's right, so, yeah. And, and um, the ball heads that, or the, the heads that we use. Or the that, heads, you know, yeah, not necessarily yeah, There's others, but for what yeah. we use for photography is what we talk about. That's right. About. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, I think we're going to do uh, another episode on um, heads and actually show you uh, specifically how to use them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we talked about that too, right? You know, uh, what the knobs do and, um, you know, um, maybe how to use it to shoot, uh, panoramas and, you know, that kind of stuff. Right? Yeah. I so, think a little more in depth kind of thing. Right. So, yeah, you uh, betcha. but you know, that was just kind of, uh, an intro and just kind of let everybody know, um, again, some of the gear we use. Right. So, yeah. And we had lots of questions about that as well. Like, uh, yeah, you, you betcha. know, some people have the head that you used actually and talked about mm-hmm. that and different things. So no, that was a good episode. Yeah, actually, there was one lady that said she had uh, an Acrotech, um head, yeah. but it was it was different. Yeah, one was a ball head, and she had a pano head attached to it as well, or That's something right. like that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, no, love the feedback. Uh, mm. Love it when people ask questions or you know send uh, messages and that sort of thing. So well, and some cool. people learn that they can actually take their tripod and lay it flat that they didn't even know their tripod did. Yeah, should we mention this person's name? Go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if Terry wants us to, yeah. but um, uh, hopefully maybe Terry we won't. won't be mad. But maybe we won't just now. <laughs> <laughs> but Terry, but hey, there you go. At the end of the day, we all have different gear that sometimes we don't even realize the capabilities of some of the some of the stuff we have. Right, so it's pretty exciting oh, when sure. you realize your own tripod. You don't have to go out and get another one that it actually will lay flat. So that's pretty that's cool right. for her. Yeah, and there's a, a few things with these tripods that have the center column that we should explain to you in, in that mm. same you know in our future episodes too yeah. um to get low to the ground and that sort of thing but anyways that that's that's for another time yeah but, absolutely yep. so yeah that's kind of a recap guys as far as uh, the episodes we've had in the last uh six months right? yeah it's flown by <laughs> yeah and uh we're pretty excited to see what's uh coming for 2021 you know yes yeah um lots of have, in the field uh, stuff i think hey eh? A lot in the field stuff. We're going to have some guests um, mm-hmm. in the field or maybe just over, um, you know, what we're doing like this. Uh, you know, sure. our, we're recording all this thing uh, via Zoom, right? You know, yeah, so, that's right. Yep. Uh, that's the platform we're using to um, to do these these podcasts. And some guests um, you may have heard of and some guests maybe not. Maybe they're new to you as well, right? So. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you know, what we'd really like to hear is um, suggestions uh, from you guys. What do you want to see in future episodes? Um, We've got some suggestions already um, that uh, we're going to um, uh, cover uh, Mm -hmm. from from you guys, you know. Um, But, you know, we'd really like to um, uh, gear this platform towards you and um, what you would like to hear in the future. I mean, we are going to have our adventures and everything in between, but, um, you know, uh, we'd love to, um, uh, you know, create content that uh, you guys want to um, learn from. Yeah. And, and and do you like the podcast more? Do you like to listen to the podcast? Do you like watching us on YouTube? Do you like both? I mean, everybody has a different uh, way they, they consume content. So um, that's right. And that's some, right. Of the, some of the content we talk about a little hard to actually explain during uh, an audio podcast which is why the youtube really comes in in handy it's kind of it has been an extension for us especially on zoom up to this point yeah Uh, but some of these are very difficult for the uh the podcast side so you kind of will direct you to the youtube to have a peek at it like we did like the moose episode for example that's right yeah yeah. that That was kind of a watcher I mean, it's 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 a great um, uh, great to listen on the podcast. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah. But you have to see these these images, and you know. Yeah, especially the uh, moose, eh? Like that's seeing the moose. Yeah. Well, you know, and seeing Chris try to get out of the hole. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. See, see Joe start a fire. You know. Oh, that was a different episode. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not talk about episode fourteen. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, all good fun. And, um, you know, we're just uh, really excited to get out there again. So, oh, for sure. Yeah. We'd love, like, like Joe said, we'd love to hear exactly where you guys want us to go with this. And, and this is for you guys. So, and the other thing to, uh, Chris is that, you know, I'd love to have a, a Q and a episode where, mm. um, our viewers, you know, send in questions and, uh, we can answer them right there. You That's know? a great idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, um, it could be anything to do about, um, nature photography, uh, photography in general, because yep. our backgrounds are quite diverse, mm-hmm. right? So um, you've d- done a lot of commercial work. Um, I've done a lot of portrait and wedding work. 
Yeah. Um, we're quite uh, diversified when it comes to photography. True. Yep. So yep. Um, if you have any questions just on photography in general, by all means, you know, yeah, no, just fire either. away. So, yeah, I agree. so yeah, yep. I, I'd really like to do a and I think that'd be uh, important for everybody to, uh, you know, uh, get their questions answered too. I think that's a great idea. We've had, uh, you know, the odd question here and there. We try to answer all of them. Um, mm -hmm. some come through the podcast, some come personally, some come through YouTube. So we, we try to yeah, try to do that, sure. but, uh, yeah, you're right. I think it'd be good if people can send us in some stuff. We'll, uh, answer them on a, on an episode for sure. Yeah, you bet. And I want to thank everybody who uh, purchased my 2021 calendar, um, sold out this year. So that's awesome. Oh, sweet. Uh, thanks again. And I'm looking forward to starting to put images together for the uh, 2022. I uh, promise next year. It'll come out a lot sooner than this year. Hey, it's a beautiful calendar. Congrats on it. So glad you got Thanks, sold Chris. out. It's great. Appreciate it. So I think we're going to wrap it up, Chris. Um, like I said, it's been an amazing 2020 for our new venture, right? It has, so, yeah. And it's been a lot of fun. Really looking forward to 2021. I mean, 2020 was an amazing year. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, looking forward to spending a lot of time in the field. Um, something new, having guests. Yep. And also something new, doing uh, new gear reviews. And I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be new gear, but we can review the gear that we're using and, um, you know, let like you guys know Like in the know field, right? Think. Using yeah, it in exactly. the field. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, no, for sure. Everybody wants to know how things work and, and how they, sometimes some things don't work well and it's might as well uh, talk about it. Exactly. And, um, you know, uh, use and abuse, right? So, uh, you true. know, we, we have this stuff out there to use. And, um, you know, and it's not to be babied or, you know, like to... Um, it needs to be able know. to withstand what we do, right? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. So um, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's been a great year for the Nature Photo Guys. Looking forward to even better 2021. Lots of adventures. Like you said, reviews. It's going to be a blast. Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye okay. for now. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us on the Nature Photo Guys podcast. If you have any questions, contact us at info at thenaturephotoguys.ca or message us on Facebook and Instagram at The Nature Photo Guys Podcast. Visit YouTube and subscribe to our channel to watch all our latest videos or follow and listen to our latest podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or on our website at thenaturephotoguys.ca. We'll catch you next time on The Nature Photo Guys Podcast. <laughs>